Okay, hello everyone. Um, just a little bit of an update. Um, in Wales, we've currently been in lockdown. This is our second week. So uh, I took advantage and bought myself a new T Rex 470 LP kit, and I've been busy putting the kit together. And a lovely kit, it went together really, really nicely. And it's taken me probably about three full days, working about eight hours to get it completed. And you know, the kit itself is fantastic, lovely quality. You can see carbon fiber frames and everything then. All your screws screw into aluminium, uh, so everything's got to be thread locked. It's a rather unique design. You can see there that it runs on 6S lipos and they actually slot underneath the speed controller into the canopy. This looks like it's going to be a very, very powerful. So there's the aligned motor, lovely quality with laser etching on the top there you can see the speed controller with the battery connection um, I've got my motors unplugged at the moment because obviously for safety reasons you never power up a helicopter with the motor connected because the rotors could spin and cause a lot of damage and what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to uh, just plug the battery in and switch my transmitter on just to have a little bit of a talk uh, for Jerry from RC Tail Dragon just to try and explain how the complexities of a helicopter work so bear with me I'll be back in two minutes okay so I've powered the heli up and you can see there the Spectrum Fly Balance Controller flashing green which means it's ready to go there's one of the satellite receivers there and my job at the wiring trying to keep everything nice and tidy going into the back of the fly this unit and then if I come down to the bottom of the frame you can see just tucked away there we've got the serial um, receiver which enables the telemetry so uh, you can program everything with your transmitter using forward programming um, the fly ballast controller was great to set up everything went well the calibrate did no problem all my tail is working correctly so everything was good but um, I am having a few issues so I'll talk about that shortly so just want to try and explain if you see there if I can get it to focus again Right, so there you can see we've got the swash plate and around the swash plate we've got the three cyclic servos, one is tucked away inside the frame so basically what you've got then is when you raise your throttle let me just take the throttle cut off Hold mode. you can see as I raise the throttle the swash plate moves up and what that does is it actually changes with this called collective pitch it changes the pitch of the blades and you get positive and negative so as you spool up you get the mid stick and your, your blades are set to no degrees and then as you raise the throttle a little bit higher it goes to positive and then that's what starts the helicopter to take off now if you look at the swash plate you can see that all three servos are actually mixed so they all move in conjunction with each other and then if we go to the other controls on, on the transmitter we've got uh, what we call roll so there the helicopter would roll to the left and then we've got right roll so the three servos all work in conjunction with each other and then we've got forward pitch 
and backwards pitch. So you can see there the swash plate movement dictates which way the helicopter is going to move. So very very complex and quite a quite a bit of work to set up. You need to get everything level. So if I go to centre stick there and just change the way I'm viewing the camera a second. Okay, when you're setting the heli up, it's very important that you get the swash plate level. All your servo arms then have got to be 90 degrees, and you level your swash plate with the swash plate leveler, which can take a little bit of time. And then all your links above, which I'll show you, which are there, have all got to be 90 degrees as you go up to center stick. And you know it's enjoyable but it does take a lot of time. Okay so one of the issues that or the only issue really that I've had with the Spectrum fly barless controller is when you're setting up your swash plate you've got a menu called an AF AFR menu and you can adjust the angle of pitch on your collective, your pitch and your roll. And the problem that I've had is um, when you go to centre stick, if we do roll first, what you do is you you push your uh, stick to to the right, so you get sort of like full pitch, and you set it to your desired range, which I did. But unfortunately, what I'm finding is I wanted to set it to 12 degrees, and then I'm getting 12, but then when I do the other way. I think it's 12 that way and when I come back then I'm only getting 9 or 10 degrees in the opposite direction. The same with your pitch measurements. I'm getting 12 the one way but then I'm only getting a fraction of that the other. I get in about 9 and it is a bit of a problem and I can't seem to get to the bottom of it. Um, they say there's going to be an update so you can adjust the AFR measurements in both directions but at the moment you can only do it in one direction. Um, I've spoken to somebody about it through one of the Spectrum videos and they said what you do is you set it to your desired range in at negative for negative pitch and then you use your traveler just then to adjust the other way but I can't get it to work so very very frustrating um, I don't think it'll stop the helicopter from flying but um, I, ca I can't seem to get to the bottom of it at the moment so bit of a problem hopefully now if anybody is at setting this up the same problems maybe they'd be able to message me and tell me you know how they got over the problem because obviously with most other helicopters I set up when you do your pitch range because I've taken so much time to get everything correct with the swash plates make sure that everything is balanced then when you do your, you set your pitch the one way then obviously you'd expect to have the same pitch in the other direction so so your helicopter is nice and balanced so yeah, that's one of the issues that, that um, I had with the Spectrum Fly Bars controller. So it's quite new out, it's been out a few months. Um, hopefully I can get to the bottom of it. Okay. So there you go guys. Okay, just a little bit of a look at what I've been doing. Unfortunately for the two weeks of lockdown I've been unable to fly and you know please bear with me as soon as I can start getting out I will made in the helicopter and start flying again it's just a little bit of a insight into some of the tools that you need there's the digital pitch gauge right and obviously then you got your ball link pliers 
your swash plate leveller which is the aluminium um, star shaped tool you can see there and then a selection of Align um, Allen, B, Allen bolt wrenches so yeah take some building okay so there you go just a little bit of a look at what I've been doing while I'm in lockdown and hope to see you soon at the flying field thanks for watching I really appreciate everybody that watches the channel um, I've had an influx of subscribers and I've actually hit quarter of a million views on my channel which okay doesn't sound a lot compared to some channels but you know for two people down the field flying model planes and helicopters I'm chuffed a bit I think it's absolutely fantastic and again if you're watching my videos and you're enjoying my content and you're not subscribed then please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and you'll be notified when I upload new videos I'd love for you to come and join us but a big thank you to everybody that's watching and a big thank you to all my ongoing subscribers. Okay then, bye.